Where do we begin? First of all, we're going to scroll names in this entire segment. I'd like for the segment to be the entire show because this is, it is mm. epidemic portion of guys from 1974. Tommy John is the first one. And there's 1,400 professional pitchers since 1974. John Regali from Hardball Times, and they track this stuff on, on, on a site. And this is going to scroll because I want to show the magnitude of, of, the, of the epidemic portion. But you've been a big league pitching coach for 15 years. You've been in organizations for how long? Pitching 40. coach. Oh, oh uh, pitching coach, 30. 30. Your dad was an architect and a big front office guy with the Pirates. 79 World Series. 79 World Series. Since you were born, you were in a baseball uniform. I've had a uniform on since Your dad played two. in the last game at Ebbets Field. And polo grounds. Polo grounds. Okay. You've been around it. Tommy John surgery, epidemic. There were more Tommy John surgeries in 2014 than the entire 90s as we continue to scroll these names. First, I want to say why, but I, I want to show some of, the, some of the most recent guys, unlike the ones that are scrolling behind, behind us, in guys that are brand names. And, and trust me when I tell you, folks, there's 1,400 on this name, and they're tracking it as of most recently in, in the last month of, of major league pitchers with all sorts of different deliveries. And, yes, this is a fun screen for me, Rick, because we're going to be able to see different things. But guys from all different ages, different deliveries, left, right, Carter Caps. I mean, you go through the whole thing, Hoshaver, guys, and you see the, the Zach Wheeler, and I can't even keep up. And that was my point of to 1,400 names with some big leaguers and all of these uh, that we're showing right here, folks, had, had Tommy John surgery. There is a problem, to say the least, no question about it, and these were some of the names. And when I look at this, I think of some of the crazy statistics that not only at the major league level, but also at the amateur level. Right. And I know you know this because you were part of the ASMI uh, you know, stuff that was going on. But look at this here, people here. 1,397, I said that, since 1974. You got 87% of games in 2007 that somebody in that game, at least one pitcher, oh, had Tommy yeah. John. How about this? 2007 to 2011, 57 percent of these surgeries are from 15 to 19 years old. Unbelievable. According to the American Journal of Sports Medicine. All right, so now we're getting something. And I, I loved you as a pitching coach. It was a lighter part of my career. Why? And here, I asked you, and I said, I know it, it's not that simple, but if you could give me four points, would you go over these four points and, and go uh, item for item and maybe give the best you can? Well, this is, this is the one thing that we learned from Dr. Andrew's studies and Dr. Fleissig's studies at ASMI. The arm position at foot contact. It's a black or white, yes or no. When that foot hits the ground, you have to be somewhere right in here. Okay, we'll get to that. What's this palm down, elbow high? That means that a foot contact, if you're somewhere in this position, your palm is down, facing straight down, you know, that, that's, that's, that's one of those. Then you had direction to home plate. I want to, because I want to get some video. Direction is obvious. What? Direction to home plate, that if you're, if you're way, way across yourself to home plate, because hip rotation velocities are linked to fastball velocity. How fast do hips rotate? So if you're way across yourself, you lock out those hips. So if you throw hard and rotate slow, that, that's, a, that's a major factor. And then the last one was? The, the front knee collapsing a ball release, because that also slows down how fast the so hips So how rotate. fast are the hips going? I know you had some right, So think about it this way, Al. Think of the pitching delivery as an upside down tornado. It starts to spin slower here, about one and three quarters revolutions per second is, is how fast the hips would rotate if it went in a full circle. The upper torso goes twice as fast. So it starts spinning slow here and it keeps going faster and faster and faster. So, so therefore... So one second. For in golf, they call that the X factor, the it factor. Okay. Because how did this Ricky Fowler, who's about this high, hit a ball 320 some yards? He he rotates fast. He spins fast. Okay. So so many so many people say like with short pitchers like Stroman for example or Pedro, how do they throw so hard? Billy so, Wagner. Right. How Kimbrough. do they? Right. How do they throw so hard? They're so small. Well, Indy 500 cars go faster than NASCARs. It's not the size of the car, it's how fast you're spinning. And real quick, because I want to go to some video, and I know they're going to be in our ear. Uh, revolutions per second, the fastest known, you told me that when the, I... The were... fastest of any, of, of any athletic performance, how fast the, the, the internal rotation goes forward. How fast Which your is arm how fast? is going forward. It goes about, if it went in a full circle, yeah. it'd go about 27 revolutions in one second. Okay, so that's really fast. In order to throw a ball 90, now we see 100 miles right, an hour. And now it's probably going faster because you got guys throwing harder than they've ever had in the in Let's the go to a game. video because I still want to talk to you about why. Why has this happened? But let's go to the poster child of this, right? Mark Pryor. Now, this is where we get to have fun here. What do you mean about foot contact and elbow? There you go. His foot, his foot's getting down right now. Yep. And look where he is right so, here. So what does that mean? What does that mean? What, what it means is this hand right here should be here. 
that he, high. He should, what, he should be in this position. All right, what's acceptable? Because we see all different deliveries, right? Some, somewhere, somewhere, about, somewhere about in here. So it is known, here. based on your research and your time, by no, the way, Dr. Andrews. Doctor, but you were in Birmingham as a double-A pitching coach with the White Sox. Right. And you were going over with Glenn Fleissig at ASMI, right. part of the lab. And you learned all this. At that, is that what they've come up with? That's at what foot they, contact. At foot contact. There's, all right, play they're that. Basic, they're basically saying. Play that again. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. Let's see another one. All right, so that's a curveball. And he ended up being, you know, the elbow, right? All right, stop. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's see. Go back. Here's a heater. Back. This back up. Let's do, let's do that again. Back up. And let's see the landing. Just that foot contact, guys. Go back. Back up, back up, back up. As soon as the heel touch, go forward. There. All right, so it's similar. Fastball. Yeah. So because he's really here late. and not here, we're, we're seeing a, a percentage of those that get hurt. It's, well, putting, it's putting all the pressure right here on the, on the, the UCL. Are you okay? All right, let's keep moving because there's a couple other guys mm -hmm. uh, that we want to see. P play this forward. Let's see what else we have. But that's a major common thread. That's a major. Okay, major Strasburg. Major common thread. Strasburg. Now, he's overcoming. He's, he's stud. He's doing it. Stop again. Let's go back up. So he's a toe guy. Back up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's too entrenched in the in the uh, in the dirt. Back up. No. Nope. Soon as it barely touches the ground, please go forward. And so he's more toe. Prior was stop. Okay. Same so, position. So is this the problem? Right. Same position. So so is it because of the takeaway on your when it comes out of your glove? It's a, it's a timing mechanism. Everybody has their own timing mechanism, and everybody does it an individual well, is way. Is it what is the? We, I've said it. Inverted W M. What is? Well, this that's a, he's not there because the 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 other the other the other common flaw is that if this elbow was way up here, which he's, Pryor he's, did, he's not that Pryor Pryor did. Mark Pryor. All right, keep going. Please move it forward. All right, so now he's kind of, he's, he's more solid. Keep going. Right. Keep going. All right, but, let's but, go to but, another one. Go back for a second. Okay, go back. Go, go back. See, this is fun, isn't it, Rick? This is, this is what happens when you're late. The intent of this pitch is down and away. Okay. Now he's late. This ends up to the other side of the plate over here. I understand. That's, right. what, that's what happens when you're late. Really All right, go late. to the next guy. I want to see another guy. I wanna, yeah. So go. if you're watching a game and you don't have slow motion footage. All right, here, stop footage, right here. Okay, is this, is this the go. end? So yeah. his elbow goes higher than his shoulder. Yep. That's what you're talking about. Right. He's at foot contact, his heel, mm -hmm. so he's similar to Pryor, not Strasburg. And his elbow is higher than his shoulder? Right, and his, and his palm is way below the shoulder line. It should, Here, it move should, one more click, please. Here. One more click. Yes. Ah! Back. I mean, it, see, I, I just want to show how minute. One more back. Nah. Well, I mean, it is so, like what, what you were saying, it's like, it's because it's happening so fast. Yeah. Okay. So that's so fast. So is that why elbow surgery? I mean, he's, he's that's one of the biggest reasons. That's one of the he's biggest having a good year. He's having a good year. He's pitching, pitching well. Well, I mean, again, it's not. Keep just, going. Just play because, it again. Just because you're really good doesn't mean you're not at risk of injury. How many guys are pitching and he had the hammer? I mean, the big curveball. Oh, big time. But let me see another one. What, what's another guy before we can go here? We got another one? Who's across? There was a. Oh, okay, Weaver. You mentioned about direction. This is like he's the poster child for across his body, right? Yeah. Stop. Look at that. Yeah. So, so if you if the, the, the camera's coming from here, but if it was center field camera and you drew a line through here, yeah, it it it's probably going right about. But he here. played. He's got fifth. This is the whole thing. When I talk to my kid and kids, they're like, oh, well, he played 15 years in the big leagues, he, and he's driving a Mercedes and he, a Maserati. He's got he, a big boat. He did, but look, but but look, when he signed, what was he like mid 90s? Yeah. And then as time goes by, because what happens is hip rotation velocities are linked to fastball velocity. Once you get locked out here. Th those hip rotations. I, I know they're going to be honest, slow. but here, if you had, what are what, what are the three? Look at this. We're still running these names, by the way. Oh my God. But, but what are what are some of the things at home? I, I, you know, I have a son in high school. That I, I, I'm around youth baseball. Like, what can we pick off? Rest? Is it velocity? Like, what's going on? I, I think it's a combination of rest. Overuse is a big, big factor. Pitching 12 months out of the year. Okay. Dr. Andrews would say a minimum of three to four months rest. Okay. And then, then you have to be conditioned in order to be able to do this. Jared was in un unbelievable physical condition. That's why he was able to withstand this for a long period of time. But what happens is as time goes by, the velocity starts to drop. All right, we got to go. I, I mean, I could. We, I, we got to touch on like nine other things. <laughs>